What's up guys? Welcome to Copper. This is our first run, so uh wish me luck. They're just sticky. A lot of 50 50s for a truck, guys. I was so fast. <laughs> Run number two. Let's see how many runs we do today. Just to build speed with it. I fall there every time. <laughs> All shady. <laughs> Run number three. Come this way. So I've hit this rail before and it is a wild ride. Look at this thing. Well, do I have the guts today? We'll find out. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's like a break. I don't even know why I try with that rail. <laughs> That lip is slippery. Four, run under four. Icy on these features. Oh! Going from like super slick to like, I grab me. <laughs> Alright, guys, run number five. You know what that means. Today's sticker shout out. We got Levi with the most unique way I think I've ever seen the Evolution sticker put onto a helmet. Looking insane, guys, if you want an Evolution sticker, there's so many colors and styles and versions for anybody's style out there, even if your style is being a skier. We do have a ski version of all of our merchandise. If you snag it, tag me on Instagram. I'll give you guys gear and sticker shouts in the vlogs like I just did. And it supports your dreams how we do this for a living. So we can get more than five runs in a day. Here we go. Run number five. These suck, all of these big old turds. So these tickers are icy, so these rails are kind of sketchy right now. Need the sun to take them up a little bit. Okay. I missed. All right, run number six. I'm like right with this guy. 
Yeah, so counting runs. We've never really counted how many runs we do in a vlog. At least told you guys how many runs we do in our vlog. Normally we ride for like three to four or five hours. Only when we travel do we ride like open to close, put everything we got into a resort type thing. Some days, maybe if it's like the best day ever, we'll do that. But let's be real, not every day is the best day ever. But yeah, we're counting runs today. However, there is one magical place where we do not count runs. And that is snowboard camp, where I coach you guys how to get better at shredding. Whether you want to hit your first jump, your first box, boxes, carve 180s, 360s, whatever you want or need to learn. Snowboard camp is designed for you adults because it's an adult, all-inclusive camp. Five days of shredding in Hood in Timberline Ski Resort. Mount Hood is a magical unicorn of a resort anyways, but we might build our own jumps. We might just session the park. Camp is a go of the flow of the campers. It's always a rad time. People are always learning new things and it's literally my favorite time of the year. So if you want to come to my snowboard camp June 9th through the 15th, it is linked in the description. Sign up. We already have three people booking it and we only take 10 each week. So you're going to want to book it before it sells out and then you don't get to come to camp and you missed out. So come to snowboard camp. It's the most rad thing. That's in the description description All, everything's in the description check out the description all right run number seven there goes our dead park it is hopping that wasn't my best run i have no idea what happened right there <laughs> run seven's not the run Today we're stacking clips. It's kind of like all I wanted to do there is stack clips. Another thing that you can stack a ton of clips with, but also helps you get better snowboarding in the summertime, is the summer board. The summer board is the street snowboard. Legitimately, you can go toe side, heel side, make turns, do full flat ground 360s on the summer board. It is my summer addiction. I love these dudes so much, and you can send it in the train park if you want to get sandy, but honestly, it is so nice to just keep the leg strength throughout the summertime, or if you live in Texas or Florida and you got a snowboard trip coming up, you can jump on the summer board, ride it around for 10 to 20 to an hour. It's, as long as you want to ride that thing, get them legs burning and it goes 12 miles it goes 28 miles per hour if you want to go that fast it is so sick so the summer board link the description use code jb100 new code and you will save yourself 100 off the summer board which is super red and i really like the summer board so check it out there's your paycheck tristan appreciate he's on the books now pleasure doing business it's a joke he's actually paying me this is run number nine nine should probably start that music. So you like, that's why I don't listen to music while I ride because it's just so much work. You're always like, start, stop. Hi mom, how are you doing? Hell yeah. That was a line, dude. These are sticky. Don't look at that guy. Oh, 
Run number nine was hot. We officially made it to double digits. Ten. Yeah. Woo! It's crazy how if you don't have the first trick like in line, it just messes it all. Something I'm trying to do on jump three is like look at the knuckle. Boy, rip 360. I don't know. It feels weird. I think that's how you're supposed to do it. I don't know what else to do on this rail. Oh, sorry, Cody. So officially at 10 runs, I'm starting to feel the foot burn. Like, Copper's a long run. Okay, we gotta really think about this. Let's do front board. I'm gonna be going switch into the last feature. So front board, back one, cap two on, cap two on. And we could stick with the back lip. I mean, it is front board. The back lip looks really cool. <laughs> so I didn't tell everyone it was drop number 11. My fault. There it is. I've been feeling very back one today. You got the three? I'm moving on to the Indy. Let's go, dude. So weird. Yeah. One, three, thirteen. Thirteen! We're in a cloud right now. Come on, come. It's an unlucky number, you can't blame me, you know? Front three on three felt like, oh, it felt so good. I think we gotta get to 15 runs. That's respectable, that's a respectable day. Yeah, so we're having a good day, 13 runs deep. Now, I don't know about you guys and how many runs you normally get, so comment down below what's your most runs ever, what's the most you ever did. I think the most I've ever done was like 58 runs. We did a eight to eight back when Keystone was open till eight, and we rode 851 for till it closed, and then we went and rode mid station gondola till it closed, and we hammered out the days and absolutely crushed it. And yeah, that was a, that was a good time. So I think my max of all time is 58. Obviously, we're not doing 58 runs today, have you beaten that? What's your max run? And tow ropes don't count. Well, I guess maybe they they don't count, but if you've done 58 runs, your arms are cooking at that point. Yeah. No, that tow ropes count. <laughs> especially at uh, Ski Chapman. <laughs> Welcome to run 14. Oh, God. Is it worth getting in line? It's the most popular feature in the park for this one. You don't need to understand to know. Oh! A little bit. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, Tristan. <laughs> so messed. That's an IOU. Next time my gloves are off, you can blast me, Tristan. <laughs> 15 runs. That means to Last run. With that luck, if he calls it for himself. <laughs> I got so lost in the clouds in the low light. Shock, shock. Oh god. Sorry, don't hit that thing. It's slow. I don't know why we came in there. It's not slushy enough. All right, guys, 15 runs. I'd say that's probably two or three more than we would normally do on a copper day. So what happened on the last run doesn't happen. You get tired. I like to show up early before clouds roll in and stuff so you can see. But super rad day. Once again, how many runs do you normally do? I'd love to know. Comment that down below. And once again, time on snow is the best way to get better at snowboarding. So the more runs you do, the chance, the better you're going to get. But with that, thank you so much for spreading with me today. Now, as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow in another video. Let's stay in the channel. We'll do stuff like this. Damn.